so today is a very exciting day because today is the day that I get to start working on my guitar modding project. It's not just going to be any guitar that I'm modding, it's going to be my C6. Uh, if you have watched my videos at all, you're probably very familiar with this guitar. I'm going to be modding this guitar to fit a certain aesthetic and also uh, for functional reasons. So first off, I'm gonna be replacing these tuners right here with some Tone Ninja locking tuners, and they're gonna be all black instead of the silver ones on here currently. I will be replacing the output jack with uh, a better one, a pure tone black nickel output jack. This one keeps liking to come unscrewed. And then all the other upgrades that I'm doing to this are aesthetic, so basically I'm gonna be replacing the, uh, the strap buttons with black strap buttons. And these knobs here, I'm gonna replace those with some black knurled knobs. Basically just these, but instead of chrome, they're gonna be black. Um, and then I'm going to be painting the uh, output jack plate. I will also be replacing this uh, two nomadic bridge with a black one as well. Going for a completely blacked out, not like stock uh, black and silver vibe. Going for a complete black vibe. I'm not gonna do anything uh, else like super crazy. I'm not gonna replace the, the pickups or the pots or any of the electronics inside. Um, I really like these pickups. They're super high gain and the frets are nice and smooth so I don't see any reason to sand them down at all. The nut is super smooth. It's a graphite nut so it's pretty nice already. So you might be asking why am I modding this guitar and actually three reasons and they are First of all, it's cheap. Second of all, it is very comfortable to play. And third, I really like the sound of it already. So this guitar was, I think, $260. Uh, I got it B-Stock new, they're like 350 or 330 or something like that. The comfort thing, this guitar is my most comfortable guitar to play because of all of the contouring on the body that you can see pretty clearly. It's super, super light, so it feels like you're playing nothing. The matte finish is super nice on your hands, so I feel if I have an instrument that's already really comfortable, then why not just make it the best that it could possibly be? So this is gonna be part one, where I uh, disassemble this guitar, and then uh, I will go ahead and spray paint the uh, output jack plate here, and then install the new output jack. But we'll see where this video goes. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm planning on doing today, but I will at least be taking all of the old stuff off of this. So let's get into it. Okay, so the guitar is all disassembled. So now I'm gonna clean this thing up, get all the old dust and stuff off of here just to make sure it all looks nice. And then I guess I will replace the output jack. Okay, now that the guitar is all nice and cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this output jack here. Set up here, I basically have a box and some sandpaper. 
and the closest thing to matte black paint I could find. I'm gonna do kind of like a trial run. I'm just gonna sand this so that it's able to uh, get the paint to stick on it. Apply the paint to this side, see how it goes, and if it goes well, I will apply it to the side that actually shows so I can see if it actually looks good when I'm finished with it. I'm going to just cut to when this is done being sanded because that's probably really boring and it's gonna take a really long time. So now, we can see that the surface is just a little bit rough. Hopefully the paint should stick to this. Let's find out. I'm getting my solder iron heated up and we can do the soldering for the new output jack. Okay, there it is. Aha, there we go. Okay, so that is out now. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna want to uh, memorize these connections here. In fact, I might just take a picture of them. Okay, so what I've got here is a wet paper towel and that's for making sure solder doesn't drip everywhere and so it also doesn't burn anything. So if it lands on that, it'll be perfectly fine. Aha, perfect. So I can basically just take the wires off as I go. This wire just needs to come off. There we go. Aha. Okay, so we've got one, and we just need the other one. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's beautiful. Now we have the old one off, and we should be able to put the new one on. Okay, so I have the new jack here, and what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to put a little bit of solder on each of these terminals here, then I'm going to connect the wires, and then just basically solder them to them. I get a little bit of the solder near it so I can put a little puddle on it. Okay, there's my puddle. Okay, that's one. Uh, this one, hopefully, can I tilt this? Okay, yeah. Okay, this is a little harder than I anticipated. That's okay. I'm working on it. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Okay, so the soldering situation has been solved. Uh, I didn't realize that for new stuff, you actually might have to sand the terminals so that there's actually something for the solder to stick to. So I did that. Beautiful, connected on both terminals. Now all I do is I wait for the plate to dry and I can stick this guy right back on there and it should be good to go. Okay, so it's quite a bit later now and we have this all soldered up and the plate is done drying and it looks just magical right there. It's still a little bit shiny on a couple parts but it's, it's totally dry to the touch like it's not coming off or anything. So, I am going to screw this on. Okay, so that is all done, and I think it looks fantastic. That looks super good. I think that came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. Now we wait for the rest of the stuff to arrive. Okay, so today is um, day two of the guitar project, I guess. Um, it's been a few days, and uh, I got a couple things in the mail, so uh, we're gonna put them on. I got some strap lock buttons, and I also got the bridge, which is kind of sick. Uh, it's basically the same as the last one, it's just black, and I'm really hoping that everything fits and it all looks good. So, let's get doing it.
here we get a first look at the black hardware. Honestly, I think that looks fantastic. Oh yeah, yep, that blends in super nice. And on the back too, nice. Oh man, that looks fantastic. I like that. I cannot wait until the other parts come in. Those are gonna look super dope. Okay, so I don't actually have all the parts yet, but um, I just got really excited because I got two parts today. I got the uh, hybrid slinky strings I'm gonna be putting on this guitar here, and then I also got the knobs, which is exciting. Um, and I didn't wanna wait, so I'm just gonna put them on right now. I'm, I'm gonna get the tuners next segment, I promise. But these strings are actually pretty interesting. Uh, if you can see that, basically they are nines on the top strings, on the top three strings, and then uh, tens on the bottom, because I'm gonna be tuning this usually to like D standard or drop C, and I want the thicker bottom strings for tuning stability, not diving. Uh, proper tension, everything like that, and then I want kind of like the thinner upper strings so I can still do some like bends and solo stuff. Put these aside, I can't put these on yet because I don't even have anything to wrap them around because my tuners aren't here yet. But I will be putting these on and they will look really cool. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I expected. Took some adjusting because uh, the holes are a little bit too big for the, the pot posts that I have, um, but that's okay. Uh, too big is better than too small because if it's too big, then at least it'll fit on there if you tighten it enough. They actually look really excellent with all the other black hardware on there. Yeah, so with the black bridge and the black buttons, man, that looks super excellent. Okay, so um, I just drove up to my post office to pick up my tuners because they said they were here. And uh, I went to grab some delicious lunch and on the way back I uh, found that my check engine light was on and it's a serious issue, so that's cool. But I'm home and so are my tuners. So life is about as good as it's gonna get. Let's put these guys on. So the tuners are on and they look fantastic. All right, so now it's time to put some strings on this guy. Just like that, modding is complete. I think that was the like 
easiest restring I've ever done on a non-headless guitar. Just with the locking tuners was just fantastic. So easy. I think it looks great. All the black hardware looks fantastic. Uh, looks like it just fits the guitar. It looks like it was made to be. Um, so now I guess the only thing left to test is the output jack, which I hope I did the soldering correct for. It's only two wires, so pretty hard to mess up, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's pretty much no reason this shouldn't work now, but that's what I said last time, and uh, yeah, we all know how that went. I'd say that works pretty well. Um, that's a guitar for you. Obviously it's not going to sound any different. Obviously it's not going to sound much different. Um, I think the only thing that would actually change the sound of the guitar is the strings that I put on it because the old ones were cobalts and these are just straight up regular Ernie Ball strings. Um, so I guess the only difference in tone is going to be from the strings. Otherwise there's going to be just nothing different. But uh, what I'm looking for is the tuning stability and the aesthetics of having black locking tuners, black hardware on everything, um, and the output jack. That's nice. Uh, that's just kind of convenience because that's not going to come unscrewed every five seconds. And you might not have noticed because I didn't put this in the video, but uh, I also put a fret wedge on this guitar so that you don't get those stupid sympathetic vibrations up here. Uh, without it, I was playing it and it sounded terrible. 
And with this, totally saves everything because you can do palm mutes and they're super clean. <laughs> So I think this thing is great. Um, I'm really happy with the upgrades that I did to it. I think the only thing that I would ever change, try to get like uh, a coil split on both of these, especially the neck pickup would be nice because uh, I feel like single coil neck sounds much better than double neck. Otherwise, I really like this thing. I think the upgrades turned out great. Looks fantastic. Um, very, I don't know, I wouldn't say really unique. I mean, it's all black, but um, it's definitely unique for a C6 Deluxe. Uh, looks different than stock, looks better than stock in my opinion. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it all turned out great. Everything was very easy to install. Um, I didn't have any problems installing any of the hardware basically at all. So actually, if you have a C6 Deluxe uh, and you wanna do some or all of the same mods that I did mine, I'll be linking all of the parts that I use down in the description. Um, just a note, the uh, the bridge fits pretty nice, but uh, spacing between the uh, two poles is a l just a little bit wider than this bridge, but luckily the poles sit kind of a little bit loose inside the uh, screw holes in the body, so um, you can kind of get those to give you some wiggle room and it'll fit in just fine as long as they're just a little bit loose. Just something to keep in mind, it'll work just fine, but just so you know. Um, tuners fit pretty great. Um, I kind of had to do some digging and find a set of tuners with this specific like screw layout on the back because that screw layout is usually uh, unique to like uh, inline tuners. So if you have like a Strat or something like that, um, whereas for a 3 plus 3, usually the screw hole is directly below the tuner. Um, so just keep that in mind if you want to use uh, these. These work great. Uh, if you want to use some others, try to look for the same screw layout. Um, the knobs are a little bit loose out of the box, so they're not like perfectly straight on there and you do have to tighten them quite a bit, but um, they work just fine, just as expected. As far as the output jack, um, it was kind of like reversed to how mine looked. So there were like two plates of uh, PCB and there was a terminal going into the lower one and one going into the upper one. And that applies to like both the jack that was in here and the one that's in here now. Um, and the layout of how the terminals go to the different plates is reversed on the new one. So just keep that in mind, make sure you know which way it is. I mean, it's not a huge deal if you have to resolder it like I did because it's only two terminals. And if you get it wrong, then there's only one other way to do it. But just keep that in mind. Um, buttons were just perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, they just went straight in and they were totally great. Um, and as far as the fret wedge, I guess that was kind of an upgrade that I had on here before I did all these but I would definitely recommend getting one. They're like 20 bucks for two of them, so if you have a couple of guitars that don't have a fret wedge or a fret wrap or whatever up there, uh, I would definitely recommend that, especially if you have a guitar like this where the spacing between the tuners and the nut is so huge on like a headless guitar, it wouldn't make a whole bunch of difference, but uh, on something like this, it's gonna make a big difference. Although I do have a fret wedge on my headless guitar, although I do have a fret wedge Although I do have a fret wedge on my headless guitar anyway, just because. So yeah, this is now like a C6 Super, because it's got like locking tuners, graphite nut, uh, all black hardware, upgraded output jack, it's pretty great. So I think these upgrades turned out well, and I love this guitar. All right, that's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more guitar-related videos in the future, or if you really liked it, then you can even consider joining my Patreon. Wait, before you click off, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. It's only a dollar a month or $5 if you're really dedicated. On there, I'm gonna be posting an after show and some behind the scenes for every video that I make and some early music updates as far as my releases and my progress. 
um, and just other general exclusive stuff. A little goes a long way to support me and you get extra content. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.